Um, we get another one from uh, Crispy Cave, 25 bucks. Thanks, man. Hey, Nick, can you portray in the most comedic way possible how garbage the concept of income tax is? Um, I just saved up over 3K to pay over 1500 in inco income tax. Yeah, it's a lot, bro. I got my first uh, tax scare, and it put me in, like, a fucking tailspin so bad that I was sitting in a credit union trying to figure ways out yeah. to, like... Yeah, it's unbelievable how much you pay yeah. in taxes. I just first this is your first year, ten ninety nine. I'm paying over thirty million in taxes this year. <laughs> yep, my That's trust fund. My dad start. called me. My father Benson. He said, "Son, you're a Roachford," and you know what that means. And I'm like, "Taxes." Vicodin addictions. They're like, "No, no, no." It means Bohemian Grove and legacy. Boston University and it means lacrosse playing and I said cool I'm gonna give you your 30 million dollar annual trust fund disbursement high lie. Uh, yeah, yeah, high lie. Uh, but I want you to join my my men's high lie team um, yeah I uh, no no it's it's bad dude um, get a good CPA I yeah guess. get honestly uh, one thing just just a heads up I, I learned this from a friend of mine, Rick Crowley. He owned a, I did a short stint doing fire sprinkler estimating. Crowley? When I was yeah, Rick Crowley, you know him? My uncle is a Crowley, and he's a... Fire yeah, sprinkler a, guy? He's, a, he's, a, he's an accountant. Oh, no, no. Oh, okay. No, no, he was, a, he was just a, a wealthy... Young, he was a smart guy, went to Babson, got his PhD, blah, blah, blah. He's a business guy. And he, he took a liking to me. I was a pretty funny kid, young. He was about 10, 15 years older than me. Gave me a job. He said, come work for me. Gave me a pretty good job when I was young. Because I he kind of figured I could sell, and uh, I set up a maintenance division of fire sprinklers for quarterly testing for him because it was um, something that I was pretty good at implementing maintenance contracts because I was doing it for my landscape company. So I went and worked for this guy, and he told me, and we used to kind of hang out, and he would, I was basically his number two for like six months, and then I got a DUI because I'm a fucking idiot. But um, so I blew that job, and uh, you know went crawling back <laughs> uh, because I'm a loser, and. Uh, he told me, you can't afford not to have a good accountant. He's like, literally, it's not even a joke. You need... I hung out with my accountants last night, got totally, totally loaded. So shout out to the, uh, the boys over at KLR. Um, nice. They're, uh, the, good, they're the, the, the sharpest guys in the world. I love, love hanging out with accountants. Um, my mom was an accountant. So again, there's the, you just got to be smart about it. You know, I've seen people pay. Just, just be really silly. People just don't understand accounting. Mm -hmm. Really, it's just a really big gray area. I don't. I'm not saying I do, but people really don't. Smart yeah. people don't even understand accounting. Yeah. Like I, my wife, well, like she's a smart person, but when she starts talking about accounting, she's like, "Oh shit! Who gives a fuck? I make weed lollipops. I sell them at a flea market. How much do you want to fucking grab from me? Yeah. What do you want to grab this? Yeah. I was like, Jess, calm down. She's like, No. Hey, hey, congressman, you want some of this? You want that? I'm like, Honey, sit down. You're embarrassing us. <laughs> That's the yeah. stuff I deal with. You know what yeah. I mean? I make weed lollipops and I sell them at the ZZ Top concerts. She makes me busting my balls, my pussy. Does she make weed lollipops? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's in the Hell's Angels. No. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. It all comes back to uh, biking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my wife's um, she's a president of the Female Outlaws Club. <laughs> Yeah, she's crazy. We saw some uh, Hell's Angels at that shoot. Yeah, the full Hell's Angels Outlaws when we were shooting the other day. Full party. We should have went to the cookout and been like, hey guys. <laughs> hey guys, you guys like uh, indie uh, indie music? <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, no, no. Um, you guys ever hear Mr. Brightside by The Killers? That song's fucking crazy, dude. Hey, uh, so Mr. Hell's Angels, do you guys ever hear uh, Smile Like You Mean It by The Killers? God, that song's so good. You guys don't want to put it on? Excellent. No, no, I'll be in your gang. Sure. Kill a guy? Whoa, all right. Your gang. Yeah, I'll join your gang. <laughs>